Hello, today I'm going to show you how I got um, Zed running on Windows and how to have it execute um, your code without having to do it manually. So first off, uh, what I want you to do is to make sure that you have the right uh, visual something, visual basic. Yeah, there we go. No, visual C. So you want to type add or remove programs. You want to hit on that and come here. So you want to make sure that you have the 2022 version. If you don't have it, what you're going to want to do is go to Google and type this C++ 2022. Hit on the first option. You go down here and then I have both options installed. I believe some software will need one or the other depending on the software. I'm unsure as to whether you need both to run Zed. I would, if you're here, install both. If you don't have them, install them. Next, you can, by all means, build the Windows version from the source code. Now, I'm too stupid. I'm just reading the Absolute Beginner's Guide to see 3rd Edition. All right, book. I will get onto more advanced books later. But anyways, I'm not doing that. A simpler version is to simply go to scoop.sh and install it. You're gonna open your PowerShell. You know how to, if you don't know how to do that, you just do that. Don't run it as administrator, it's not gonna work. Um, you're gonna execute these commands. Uh, they're gonna download stuff and install it for you. After that is done, um, you may need to install other stuff. If it errors out, at any point in the process, it will likely tell you couldn't install it because. And so you just find if you are missing uh, something, Google how to install it. Simple as that. Now, normally it's not gonna be the case, but if you didn't have Scoop before, it may be the case. Maybe you need Git, uh, which happened to me. So anyways, there's two versions. Nightly gets released nightly um, at around 12 every night now these aren't the most stable versions because they get released again on a daily basis on a nightly basis now i went for the regular one doesn't get released as often but is more stable you copy and execute on powershell copy and execute on powershell and that's going to get you zed now to normally run code on zed you need to manually execute it from the uh, command prompt. Now, for those who are lazy enough to not want to do that and just want to quickly run your code, this is where the tasks come in place. So, I want you to open Z and press, um, where is it? Open key bindings and then edit tasks.json. So that's going to create two files. How to find those files? Windows plus R, app data, uh, enclosed in percentage symbols. You go to Z, and then they're going to be here. If you press on settings, you're also going to get a settings. Now, if you don't have anything, any settings in these, just completely erase whatever's on there, and I'll give you what to put on there. I'll leave you a folder, uh, or I'll leave you a link to these three files. So what you're going to want to do is either manually copy and paste or simply download the files. Whichever one works for you, I don't care. What these do is your tasks create um, a task duh, within Z. What that's going to do is is going to look at the path that you write on here and is going to execute uh, the, the script on that path which is this. So you're gonna place this somewhere in your computer, whether that be the same folder as the rest, so your app data, whether that is here or wherever your um, your project is, like, feel free to do either. Just you need to have the path to this file. Wherever you place this, you need that path here. Now, you need double backslashes. Don't use single backslashes, don't use forward slashes double backslashes so after you do that you still need a way to 
run this task. So we're going to set up a key bind for that. If you already have key bind set up, just make sure you're not using the alt G because this key bind uses alt plus G. Um, now, if you don't have anything, again, delete everything that comes in the file that uh, Zed creates and then just paste this. Save it. You're going to save this other one as well. And then this is what the script looks like. Now, for moving forward, um, shout out to these nerds over on Reddit <laughs> that came up with this. So this guy did it for uh, Mac OS, I believe. This guy ported it to Windows, and then this guy kind of revised this other guy's script. Now, these didn't work for me. I'll leave the link down below. If whatever I leave you doesn't work, try these. Now, they didn't work for me. And as you can see, I don't know how to program. So um, I had to use ChatGPT to kind of revise it. So um, these versions are different from what's on Reddit. So I'm not just copy and pasting literally everything that they did, but I'm just posting this because this is what worked for me and the other ones didn't work for me. So anyways, uh, now if you go to Z, you press your Alt plus G and then that's gonna run your uh, program. So I press 95, enter, and then yep, the program runs. So quick and easy. You got Z on your computer. You got it to automatically run um, codes for you. Um, I believe this version that ChatGPT spewed is gonna make it so that um, if, and again, because the other ones didn't run for me, I don't know. But it gives me the impression that um, if you already have an executable for the code, the other versions run the already compiled executable whereas this version should delete it recompile it and run it again in case you've made changes to your code it's not going to keep running the same old version you're not going to have to go out of your way to manually delete all the old executables from from your program so anyways that's it see you